once again. I am sure by now after completing lessons on the simple past tense and the past continuous tense and in our previous lesson on the past perfect tense, you are very proficient in the past tense. The past tense is used to describe actions in the past and by using these different past tenses, you are able to make your writing more effective and grammatically correct. In this lesson, you will be introduced to the past perfect continuous tense. On page 12, on your pupil's book, you would see the different definitions given in a blue box. So what is the past perfect continuous tense? On page 12 in your pupil's book, at the very bottom of the box, a definition has been given. The past continuous tense is used to describe an action that began in the past and went on for some time in the past. The past perfect continuous tense is also known as the past perfect progressive tense and shows an action that started in the past and continued up until another time in the past. The example given in your pupil's book is, he had been waiting for a long time to get those books for the library. As you can see, the fact that he had been waiting for a long time suggests that it was an action that went on for some time in the past. The past perfect continuous is formed using had plus been plus present participle. Questions are indicated by inverting the subject and had. Negatives are made with not. Let's look at some examples. Statement you had been waiting at the gate for more than two hours when your father finally arrived. Question. Had she been waiting at the gate for more than two hours when you arrived? Negative. You had not been waiting at the gate for more than two hours when she finally arrived. To understand this tense better, look at this diagram. As you can see, we use the past perfect tense to show that something started in the past and continued up until another time in the past. For five minutes or a week in the past are both durations which can be used with the past perfect continuous tense. However, it is important to note that the duration does not continue until now. It stops before something else in the past. Let's study the following sentence. Statement. You had been waiting at the gate for more than two hours when your father finally arrived. It indicates that the duration that you waited for in the past was over two hours. Let's look at some examples so that you can get a good idea of how and when to use this tense. Sita and Ramindu had been talking on the phone for over an hour. How long had you been standing to get a taxi? Mrs. Fernando had been teaching the O-level classes for more than two years before she migrated to England. One of the greatest users of the past perfect continuous tense is that it helps show cause and effect. For example, I can say, Pramodini was so tired because she had been working on the computer for over 10 hours. The effect is that Pramodini was tired and the cause was that she had worked all day. Another example, Kishani obtained the best results in the island for science because she had been studying hard. So the effect is that Kishani obtained the best results in the country because she had been studying hard, which is the cause. So since we have already done a lesson on the past continuous tense, you shouldn't get too confused with that and the past perfect continuous tense. If you do not include a duration such as for five minutes or two weeks or since Thursday, many speakers of English 
choose to use the past continuous tense rather than the past perfect continuous tense. You need to be careful as this can change the meaning of the sentence. Let's look at these two sentences as an example. Saman was tired because he was studying so hard. And Saman was tired because he had been studying so hard since last week. The first sentence shows that Saman was tired because he was studying at that moment. Whereas in the second sentence, we are told that Saman was tired because he had been studying so hard for a period of time, a week to be exact. Let's now do an exercise where you have to include the past perfect tense and the past perfect continuous tense. If you want to get an idea about the past perfect tense, please watch lesson 17. Let's now do the exercise. Using the words in parenthesis, complete the text below with the appropriate tenses. I'm sorry I left without you last night, but I told you to meet me early because the show started at 8. I had been trying to get tickets for that play for months and I didn't want to miss it. By the time I finally left the coffee shop where we were supposed to meet, I had had five cups of coffee and I had been waiting over an hour. I had to leave because I had arranged to meet Kathy in front of the theatre. When I arrived at the theatre, Kathy had already picked up the tickets and she was waiting for us near the entrance. She was really angry because she had been waiting for more than an hour. She said she had almost given up and had gone into the theatre without us. Kathy told me you had been late several times in the past and that she would not make plans with you again in the future. She mentioned that she had missed several movies because of your late arrivals. I think you owe her an apology. And in the future, I suggest you be on time. Now that we have a good idea about the past tense, specifically the simple past tense, the past continuous tense, the past perfect tense, and finally, the past perfect continuous tense. Let's do the exercise that has been given in your pupils book, Unit 1, Activity 14, on page 12. Let's do it together. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb given within the brackets. You need to revise all three tenses to complete this activity. Ravindran is a clerk. He works in a bank. You can't meet the teacher now. She is conducting a lesson. Mr. Bandara sold his car last week. Suimali had swept the classroom by the time the teacher started the lesson. I will lend you the storybook if you promise to return it before Friday. By the time we reached Candy, my father had been driving non-stop for nearly two hours. Nisali finished her homework. She can play with her brother now. Venura plays badminton with his sister every evening. You can't talk to my brother now. He is sleeping. It has been raining since last night. I wonder when it will stop. As you can see, in order to fill in those blanks, you have to use the present, future and past tenses. Let's see which ones were in the past. Now let's look at completing another exercise where you have to fill in the correct form of verb. Turn to Unit 1 in your workbook, Activity 9, page 8. Fill in each blank with the correct form of the verb given in the brackets. Yesterday, I had a very hard day. I got up early to go shopping, but as soon as I stepped out of the door, it began to rain, so I had to go back to the house and get my umbrella. When I got to the supermarket, I realized I had forgotten my shopping list, so I couldn't remember everything I wanted to buy. The cashier 
was too busy to help me, so I gathered up a few items and carried them to the counter. After the cashier finished, billing my purchase, he gave me the wrong change and stuffed my groceries in my small shopping cart. I was not in a good mood when I left the supermarket. I am sure now you have an idea of how you can use all forms of the past tense in your writing. Know when to use what and this will help you write about any event or situation that took place in the past. I hope you found this lesson useful. If you have not subscribed already, please do subscribe to our channel. Until next time, goodbye.